what's me doing we're back here with Omori, where things are very silent because we're all eating dinner right now. And I'll be getting to that in a moment. I just have a few notes I wanted to briefly come through. Number one, Aubrey last episode, last episode where I uh, was bawling the entire time, that is the latter half anyways, said that she was helping keep the album safe. That is uh, Basil's photo album. And I can't really figure out why she would lie about that, especially at the point where we had got her to her in the church because it wasn't like she had it there. So it wasn't like that was a lie she told to like keep it close to her chest right then and there. And then she threw it out right after, right? So it feels like that may actually have been uh, some element of truth, which is part of why it made it unbearable for me. So maybe she was talking about keeping it safe from like the other gang members or something who were uh, into messing with Basil. Not really all the way sure. Also, there's a thing that keeps happening where Kel, um, or Kel oftentimes very much thinks he's helping and oftentimes very much is, but I think sometimes he thinks he's helping when he very much isn't. <laughs> Aubrey kind of like alluded to this. Like she was like, oh, you, you always think you gotta be the good guy, which makes me the bad guy by, by default. And I still don't always know the whole angle on that bit there. But also I, Kel himself mentioned a time in the past when he was uh, said something to Hero and he wasn't really sure he was helping. Uh, in retrospect, although it sounded like it did help, help Hero snap out of a bit of what he was feeling, but also in the dream world, for instance, um, when he w took the cassette tape and just assumed that playing it would be good. And if, it, it did eventually lead to us remedying Captain Space Boyfriend, X-Man Pirate Dude's uh, condition, but it, it initially made things very bad and was sort of like he brushed headlong into it and made problems. So it's a bit of a thing that they, they that recursively happens with him. And all this talk about how much we're fighting Aubrey is making me worry and wonder what would have happened if I if I had just not fought with the knife uh, in the first time we encountered her and, and just kept using guard with Sunny and then attacked with Cal. Would it have been better? One hopes. It's possible they just hard coded that like she's invincible unless you do the knife or something. Uh, I I wouldn't know because I was panicking and assuming it was going to be a really tough boss fight and just hitting it with everything I have. So it's not for us to know at the moment. I don't think. Also a very cool storytelling device. I'm picking up on here is that so far I don't I have never we never met at all young young Basil young Aubrey young anyone we only know that it's that his dreams are partially accurate because of the scrapbook but I still have such a strong attachment to each of them because of everything that happened in the dream world even though this is not the same it's not they aren't the same characters all together like they're not the same instances of those people if you see what I mean they're not they don't they don't share all the experiences with their real world selves so that's just some cool some cool stuff about this game and before we <laughs> border on being rude having just left them to eat by themselves for like eight years let's go have a bit of, of dinner with them shall we instead of just skulking around in the back of the kitchen I also find it very funny that last episode, Polly was like, the kitchen's over here, as if that wasn't readily apparent via eyes. Everything tastes so good. You're the best, Polly. Ah, oh, it's nothing. I'm just following Grandma's recipes. Thanks for your help, Cal. So as I was saying before, Polly, tomorrow, my little brother Hiro's finally coming back from college. My mom's all crazy right now, preparing the house and everything. Oh, don't want to be anywhere near that mess. Although, I'm pretty excited to see him. Every time he comes back, the first thing we do is compare heights. This year is the year that I'm finally going to be taller than him. I can fur my bones. <laughs> you can what in your bones? <laughs> you and your brother seem close. That's good. Family is important. Oh, hey! Um, what you doing with Basil's photo while I'm there, Sonny? I don't know what I'm doing, actually. Oh, as in, like, why do I have it? Right. <laughs> no, I don't know. Basil gave it to me. Oh, I, uh, I gave it to him. I just thought he should have it. Whoa, really? That's so cool of you. Makes sense. I suppose I've been friends moving away and all. What? Sonny's moving? Oh, did I not man shown? Oh, this awkward. Oh yeah, me not gonna be, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be gone <laughs> in like three days. Oh yeah, I thought I already mentioned it. I must have forgot. He's moving in three days, I think. Sorry, <laughs> I thought you already knew. Oh, uh, no, I, I guess I must have missed it. I guess so. S sorry, um, may I be excused? I I have to go to the bathroom. You don't really have to. It's your house. <laughs> what are you asking me for? What's up with him? Well, that's just how it is. 
You gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> Kel, the signs, read them. That's the other thing, I, as I was, because remember I was earlier, I was trying to riddle out what the exact relationship is between Basil and Sunny, and it seems like Basil has a very high opinion of Sunny one way or another. Whether it's romantic or just like a close friendship kind of thing, it, it seems like Basil, uh, Basil does care about him a great deal. I didn't realize he didn't know Sunny was moving. That's a uh, big rip right there. Huh. I guess I better go see if he's all right. Is he not in, is he in his own room, in fact? Probably, right? Oh, no, maybe he actually is in the bathroom. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't be involved in that, maybe. Maybe check the bathroom last, because that seems like the least creepy thing to do. Nope, I guess he is actually in the bathroom. Or maybe he's just looking at himself in the mirror. Sorry, dunk, dunk, dunk. Tell me if... Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Everything is going to be okay. 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 Hey, Basil! What's going on? Oh, it's you, Sonny. You're here. I'm so glad. You, you can see it too, can't you? Something behind you. Hmm, uh, nope, don't see it. Wait, please, Sonny, don't leave me. Not again. Okay, sure. Oh, I left, apparently. Well, but you said something behind me, which is why I turned around. Wait, hang on. No, what do you mean no, Sonny? All right, I guess we're just... That's a little strange. Basil? Why am I not allowed to go back? No, oh, hey, Sonny. I think it's about time we went home. It's way past my curfew. So yeah. Anyway, Polly, if you ever need me, here's my address. I live just down the block. Thanks, Cal. You're sweet. <laughs> uh, it's nothing. Say goodbye to Basil for me. We can, we can we please go back? Basil! Oh, Basil! Aw, oh, poor guy. He's always had a weak stomach. Hope he feels better soon. I didn't- okay, I- I didn't want to leave the room. <laughs> he said, do you see something behind you? So I turned around to look and Sonny left. I was hoping to talk to- oh, that better not have serious story implications for me. Because that's utter nonsense if it did. I obviously, obviously, obviously was not trying to just leave when he was talking to me. You're probably wondering who I am, right? I'm nobody, really. Just a nurse who was taking care of Basil's grandmother. A few months ago, Basil's parents hired me as Basil's caretaker since they travel out of the country frequently. I try to do as much as I can for Basil while I'm here, but... Ever since I've started staying here, I can't shake the feeling that Basil's trying to avoid me. I wonder if I'm doing something wrong. You know what? I'm, I'm literally gonna quit up to the title screen and, and try the- I, I, I'm, I'm like too panicked that that actually did something that I did not intend. Hopefully that there's not actually a branching choice there and you just- If you talk to him, nothing happens and- Or just something spooky happens and you have to leave anyways. But I don't want to take that chance. I'm not saying that like, I'm gonna try and game the system every time I, I perceive there to be some kind of story choice because I'm sure I've already missed a plenty of important things. But just this one thing, I, I feel like I at least gotta try talking to him here. There's, 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 there appears to be the thing though, the fear of losing, in this case, Sonny, is, is what that, that's what that, that weird darkness means. When he says something behind you, maybe it means like something you've left behind is, is like maybe the implication. Left behind in the proverbial sense or literal sense, I suppose. Sorry, Basil, just, just, just saying hello again. I think everything will be okay. Uh, I hope everything will be okay anyways. Hello. Sonny, why, why do you look so scared? Because you're being scary? Uh, you're right, there is something behind me. <laughs> Sonny, everything is okay now, isn't it? Sonny? Why, you're going through the same two dialogues, cool. Alright, that thing's just gonna keep staying behind me, I guess. Okay, good. Well, I'm glad I looked at that, at least. That's, that's, uh, before I left. <laughs> but I, I guess I have to leave, regardless. I'm not leaving you, I'm leaving the creepy thing that's behind me. <laughs> that should have been very obvious from the social cues. Oh, please don't cry, Basil. Man, the only thing worse than that is doing it twice. I wonder if Kel has any opinions about all that goes on in here, because he wasn't uh, with, me, with me last time we were here. Doesn't seem like it. Well, surely something terrifying is going to happen when we go to bed tonight. <laughs> Alright, Kel, let's get on with it. Well, that was Ripper Rooney. Oh, yep. Yeah. Nighttime. Nothing's going to be good okay in nighttime. Oh, past your curfew, is it? It's past my <laughs> feeling okay with living in this space right now time. Can we go knock on Aubrey's door? It, the light's on. Aubrey? You shouldn't disturb others this late at night. But, but Aubrey... Ooh, traffic cone. A bunch of traffic signs and traffic cones are littered in the front yard. <laughs> Stealing stuff, Aubrey? Well, what's one stop sign here or there? <laughs> oh god, things are scary at night. I want to go home, Kel. Kel, don't I, Kel, can I stay over at your house tonight? Mine's a little haunted. Any zombies show up at your house lately? Wait, hold up, Sonny! Oh, wait. 
This is all the same. Okay, so I guess he wants to take me to my house first. That makes enough sense. Or you could stay at my house as long as we're staying in- I'm not alone at night is the thing. <laughs> hey, Sonny. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Sorry for all the trouble. That was a pretty crazy adventure, huh? I can tell you haven't talked to anyone in a while, but that's okay. It just takes practice. Anyway, Hero's coming back from college tomorrow, so I'm sure he'll want to see you before you leave. So, if you don't mind, I'll be coming back for you again in the morning. Good night, Sonny. Sweet dreams. Thanks, Kel. I do not think they will be entirely sweet. I think they will be a little scary. Yep. An eerie ringing as you enter your house? Not usually a good sign. Ah, oh, it's followed me here, has it? That's a strange thing. Am I able to move and stuff right now? Oh, oh, the ground is alive with spiders. Oh, whispers emanate from inside the box. Oh, do you still recognize your home? Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, oh god, the spiders squish when you step on them. Ew. <laughs> I'm sorry, spiders. Oh, big spider. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, Car Sonny's afraid of spiders, so I guess that's the next fear world we're going to, is the spider one. Well, this is certainly a strange thing. I wonder if there are spiders in the- That was a spider. I was gonna say, I wonder if there are spiders in the kitchen. I'm gonna try and avoid stepping on any more spiders. Alright, spider, spider here, spider there, spider, spider everywhere. Ah, sorry. Lots of spider- Hi! You know that's my ceiling you're hanging from. Oh, the knife. I don't think I want such a thing. Why do I have that in my house? I thought Kel took it away from me. How dare we have more than one knife? I don't think I want a knife. I think I want to avoid picking up a knife when things are scary like this. The giant spider web blocks the doorway. <laughs> How dare you railroad me this way? I don't want to keep picking up this knife. Son, you better de-equip that the second we're done with this. It's been used a few times. The second we're done cutting this open, I better not see this knife anywhere on your person. Alright, we're putting it back now. Thank you, Sonny. Put it down now. Uh, hey, I wonder what's in the fridge. Ah, spiders. Well, <laughs> I guess we needed a few more in the house. I was I was noticing a distinct lack of spiders. What's with all the red over there? And what was oh this is this is a wall of spiders. I am not permitted to move this far. Did I see the the eye thing there? The, the little the the thing that looks like a fish from a fish's silhouette or something? That's a lot of spiders covering that staircase or not? Yeah, there it is again. That that thing with the eyes, or the eye singular. Okay, that's not a box, Sunny. Is it just opening its eye every time I turn away from it, or is it just kind of randomly? I'd like to go over to that door, but there are there's there are, the amount of spiders is is not conducive to one walking. Aw, oh, man. We're going to be covered, uh, there are going to be more hands as we go up the stairs, and more spiders. Why is our staircase so long? <laughs> there are a few too many spiders for this to be- Whoa, that was a strange laggy bit there, when the web came over the screen. Oh dear. Yup, I understand. There are a lot of spiders. Yep, those are legs. I Oi! That's enough with hitting me down the stairs. <laughs> I've been pushed down the stairs. Stop poking me! My eyes are very, very sore as it is. I'm just trying- Whoa, that was a squishy noise right there. You right, Sonny? Yep, I know, I know. It's it's pretty scary right now, isn't it? But we can't go downstairs. Our bed is up there. I know. It's- Do you, uh, can I use your calm down skill by chance? No. It would be nice to remove some emotions right now. Hey, Sonny, you got $14. Isn't that something to be happy about? Can I use the flowers? These spiders seem pretty important to me. <laughs> oh, dear. Ow! You're- this is just getting hurtful at this point. I, you're just- you're just bullying me over and over again. Yes, hello. It's you again. What's up? Something to say? Oh, you're gonna just run at me and scream or something? I'm ready for it. Whatever it is. I'm not actually ready, but... Ugh, okay. You're not gonna come down to me, I'm gonna come up to you. I see how it is. What are you- are you secretly a spider? What is- oh, you're gone. That's exciting. Or not. Maybe you're Mari. Mari? Hello? 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 Sometimes when you say hello, it means you should respond or not. Hey, you made all the spiders go away. Or maybe not. Uh, there are still a few around the edges. You doing all right there, Sonny? Uh, I don't know what that was, but I don't think it was helping. Afraid, yes, uh, that, that sounds up my position. Do 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 boo. I'm just calming down right now because there aren't actually any spiders. Hey, I recovered heart. And I don't feel as scared anymore. I'm very calm. Oi! Something entangles sunny and sticky webs. I'm having none of it. It's not real. Or am I supposed to try to attack? I can't remember. I'm calmed down. 
Something is trying to something, but it went away really fast. Look at the smile on the top. Uh, did we attack the something last time? I think maybe? I oh, ouch. Sunny's attack did nothing. Well, this is getting nowhere fast, huh, Sunny? Tombst? Spiders can't talk? <laughs> I figured out that this is all a dream. <laughs> I'm calm. Um, oh no, it's still biting me. Uh, okay. Well, I would appreciate it if you stopped that, please. I'm very calm right now. Man, you're lowering my speed. I already go before, after you, I mean. It seems like there's a lot going on. You need to block out the little things and figure out what's important. <laughs> you clear your mind and remember how to focus. Okay. Sunny's next attack deals more damage. Uh, interesting. <laughs> I'm focusing now. I remember how to kill spiders. Oh, wait, never mind. I'm not actually going to do that. <laughs> Thankfully. All right, so that staircase was, again, not as long as it used to be. Am I able to leave? No. Okay. What is that dinging noise? A clock chime or something? I would like you to put the knife back, please, Sunny. Oh, I did. Okay. These are all you have. <laughs> Wait, where did the knife go then? She sells seashores by the seashells. <laughs> Let's just calm down and focus on what's important here. Okay, no. Somehow I thought that would mean that something would be added here or something, but that doesn't make any sense. Is there anything in the fridge? I haven't eaten all day. Uh, excuse me? I was trying to look in the fridge, please. <laughs> empty. Cool. Do you hear that, Mari? It's empty. So don't go poking me in the shoulder asking if there's anything in there. Ugh. That squishy noise was not all right. All right, well, I'm going to bed again. Hopefully nothing terrifying happens. I would love to go to sleep. I would like, I would, oh, I hate it when it does this. This is so creepy. This is the creepiest thing in the whole game. <laughs> is these close-ups on this room. Oh, it just makes me so uncomfortable. Please tell me you're going to wake up in white, well, no, I don't want to wake up in white space, I guess. Hey, Basil. Are you doing all right? Well, there goes Basil. Great, I'm just pushing everyone away. I'm not very good at this whole friends thing, am I? This doesn't seem especially spooky right now, though. It seems a little... mystical. Here, so here I am in the white space again. Uh... I'm just doing a bit of yoga, you know. <laughs> Gotta work out those joints, otherwise you're gonna get all stiff. Don't look directly into the light bulb, Sonny. <laughs> And my shadow opened its eyes. It means something, okay? <laughs> but I cannot as yet be be relied on upon to tell you what. Welcome to White Space. You have been living here for as long as you can remember. This is less self-stabby spooky times and more like the very first time we came here, I think. Ah. It's sort of comfortable and less terrifying than before. Hey, Miwo! Meow! Yeah, you're waiting for something to happen. Any new sketches to sketch? Uh, this is still as eerie as before. And it ends on that one. Okay, yeah. Can I look at my calendar or is it still just Hangman? Ah, bugger. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Was that lag game intended or, or just or just by chance? Hello, hand! <laughs> I don't think there's anything new or special around here. I'm just gonna have a look anyways. Yeah, yeah it's probably nothing. Is this light bulb more shiny than it was before or something? Let's look into the light bulb again. Even though I just told Sunny that was a terrible idea. It's pitch black inside. You can't see a thing. I don't remember it like having the little glowy effects around it. Alright, well, we've looked around everything here. I think we better head back to neighbor's room. All head in that door, please. White door casts a faint shadow. What would you like to do? Open the door. <laughs> Sally forth! Okay, back to the dream world, I suppose, which would mean we gotta head to the train station. Pronto, I think. Hey guys! Mori! Welcome back! See here? I told you not to worry. Mori always shows up when we- He looks so tiny! <laughs> Mori always shows up when we need him. Is everything okay, Mori? We were worried about you. Now that you're here, let's go out and look for Basil. He's counting on us. Be patient, Kel. We have to make sure that Amori's okay first. Or maybe you and Hero can go yourselves? <laughs> and so continues Dream World Opry's not so subtle crush on Amori. Come on, Amori. Let's go exploring together. Ding! Just the two of us. Hey, wait, wait, wait. You can't leave us out of this. 
He's right, Aubrey. We have to do this together as a team. You never know when you'll need someone's help. We're stronger when we work together. <laughs> Amari and I will be fine on our own. You'll protect me, won't you, Amari? <laughs> Says the party barbarian. Ew. Gross. Get a room. Come on, Aubrey. It's time to get serious now. Let's go tell Amari that Amari's okay. You know how she's always worrying about him. <laughs> okay, okay. Fine. I was just trying to have a little fun. You know that's not what this game is about! <laughs> this game is about sadness and panic! Hey, that egg makes the same noise, squishy noise that that weird, uh, maybe, sort of, kind of, spider did. Do you want to go back to white space? Ooh, can I go there with my friends? Nope, I go there by myself, cool. I don't remember it being this, this tranquil in the music when I was in white space last. I mean, obviously not the last time, because the last time was very stabby, but... The, like, I mean, the very first time, which was the beginning of the game, I think. You know what we should definitely check out is Basil's garden. Hey y'all, what's up, best friend? Did you miss me? <laughs> hey, Omori. Are you all ready to go? Uh, I want to see what, um, Aubrey says. Okay, no worries. We'll be here. Hi, Amori! I'm so happy to see you! Alright, cool. <laughs> that was from... <laughs> was worth the three seconds. Alright, everyone. Let's go find Basil. Yes. <laughs> Going out, Amori? Here is your allowance for today. 750? Jinkies! I still haven't spent, like, any of that. <laughs> we have plenty of items here. Alright. We're back in it. We're back in the, in the, in the, I think what we understand to be the real world. Yeah. So given all the stuff about spiders, I'm presuming that the, the, uh, the spidery place is the place we're off to next. There's a spider hanging in the moon, too. Man, Mori must be afraid of the moon. Mari! How is, how are things? Aw, oh, Mari's theme is, is good. <laughs> it is good. Hi, Mari! Amori, look, Amori's here! Amori! Ah, uh, hi! I'm okay. Are you alright? <laughs> Stop disappearing like that. <laughs> you know my heart can't take it. Hmm. So there's still no sign of Basil. Where could he be? Uh. We're not sure. We've been looking for him everywhere and still nothing. Yeah. I hope Basil's okay. I miss him so much. Don't we all? Yeah, I miss hearing him talk about all the stuff he's into. Like all the flower stuff, and the photo stuff, and the art stuff, and the reading stuff. My hair is so tangly. I miss when Basil used to brush my hair. Amori, will you brush it for me? I'm not sure I'd be able to do as good a job. Well, I miss when Basil used to remind me to wash my hands. Look, they're so dirty. You, Cal! <laughs> Cal, you should probably wash your hands anyway. Everyone, I know it's tough right now, but we have to stay positive. We should all try to be like Basil. Even when Basil's upset, he always manages to smile. Well, <laughs> so is there any way you haven't checked yet? Well, yeah, four worlds on the world map, but... There is a forest west of the stump, but... It's gross and full of spiders. Ugh. Spiders. Well, you know what that means. What do I know what what means what? Once again, it's time to face your fears, little brother. What about Hero? Hero didn't seem to like it either. <laughs> Why are you singling me out? And that means you too, Hero. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Come on, big bro. You can't back out now. It's just like how it is with Amori. We're supposed to here to support you all the way. Yeah, uh, you're right. <laughs> I'm just- I'm just being silly. Don't worry, guys! If anyone or anything tries to hurt you, I'll smash it out of the way! You can count on it! And don't forget about me! I'll always be there to help, too. Yeah. Yeah! We can do this together. Let's go to the forest west of the stump. Lead the way, Omori! But in fact, Hero will be the one leading the way. <laughs> hey, Mari. Hey there, Hansa. Oh, right. This is already- this happens every time. Incomplete Basil and Hector. I- can we go back to- I'm gonna go back to the ladder and see if <laughs> Cal recognizes Hector yet. Wait, what? How do I back out? Oh, I just was pressing C instead of X. I'm brilliant. All right, well, I'm saving back in the dream world. Three days left. There are a few things I'd like to check out, to be honest. Let's start with Basil's garden. Make sure that's all still all right, because I- if any of the story event was- Excuse me! Hot diggity dog. It seems that I am the perfect link to block this path. But Basil's garden. Can I not use my hero charm to ask you to get out of the way? All right, fine. You're really gonna railroad me that way. Man, that's where the to go to get to the pinwheel forest as well, isn't it? Which is also where I wanted to be. That's like all the places I need to be. <laughs> uh, eternal banana. That's new. Or maybe I just missed it before. The grass sure feels nice here. Wanna join us, Amori? Sure. I could use a, a break from all the everything. The stars shine brightly overhead. You don't have a care in the world? That is a lie and you know it. Amori learned to observe. Oh, wowza. Oh man, I have to remember all the skills that are in this world. Predicts of, uh, who a foe will target next turn. I mean, that's kind of cool, especially for boss fights. Uh, I don't think I'll equip it right. You know what? I'll equip it over Mock, because I don't see myself using that anytime soon. But anytime, if I find myself caught in a boss fight unawares, I'll definitely want that observe. Whoa, 
Was this like this before? Sweetheart presents Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. Riveting. Sweetheart. <laughs> Six out of- wait, what? How many stars is that supposed to be? Five and then one big one? A Sweetheart production for Sweetheart by Sweetheart. <laughs> Alright, a question mark. At least it doesn't say no boss allowed here anymore. Whoa, hello. Oh boy, oh boy! I've been waiting for so long for this event! It's a delightful day indeed! Is it the Sun Sweetheart thing? What is happening? Oh yes, oh yes! At last our glorious Princess Sweetheart will finally make her appearance! Oh my, oh my, I can hardly contain my excitement. This show is so sure to be the most electrifying of them all. Oh dear, oh dear, we must hurry. Our front row show tickets are right here. We are in for the time of our lives and must not be late. Hi. Now which way do we go again? I would not know. Ah! Not this way! They're, wait, are they actually trying to fight us right now? Hang on. Let me just do the, the, the least aggressive moves I possibly can. Everyone guard or otherwise just kind of chill around. I guess I'll just do this just to make sure they're actually attacking us before I fight back. You can do it! I said to myself. Here massages himself. Okay, yeah, they're attacking me. I don't really understand why. I tried ro running and I tried doing nothing. Oh, that's creepy. He uses the little eye like they're, um, uh, like this is scariness. All right, I guess we're all just gonna hack away here. I mean, we tried, we tried non-lethal as much as possible. I don't know why I'm passing to here exactly. All oh, right, because he hits everybody. <laughs> my, my, my brain knew what, my hands knew what to do. My, my brain did not remember. Nicely done, got, done you two. We got a weirdly large amount of XP for that. Why, why did we just jump these people for their show tickets? Hey, cool. These sprout moles dropped some tickets. <laughs> Let me see. Ah, oh, they're front row tickets for some kind of show. Featuring... Sweetheart, wasn't that Captain Spaceboy's ex-girlfriend? Yeah, it looks like some kind of contest or something. If we happen to pass by, we should stop and watch. We do have front row show tickets after all. Why did they fight us? <laughs> well, all right. Maybe we can drop by if we happen to come across it. It could be very story pertinent, who knows, who knows. So if I go to the right, for instance, this is, oh no, sorry, Hector is, is over here, but the Pinwheel Forest is, is south of here. Do you recognize Hector yet? Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. There's no doubt that Hector's gonna become some huge raid boss later or something like that, right? <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, what do you want to bet that we can jump by past the hot dog by going to this travel point? Ha! Success! Unless maybe the hot dog was already gone and they were just, they were only there for the purpose of <laughs> blocking it off until we got the tickets. But I mean, I don't really understand why they would- Ah, they're gone! <laughs> it was a waste of time. Okay, fine. That's good though, that means we can go figure out all this stuff. Ah, okay, let's get watering this nonsense. Alright, they're good. Okay, wow, this is the greatest watering can in history. It just fixes them up immediately. Sweet! More gained one heart. Oh, nice! How oh, lovely. Come here, 132. Watering all the plants. We are watering plants. Are being responsible, friends, but getting all the heart. Oh, it wasn't just Omori, it's other people are getting heart now. Oh, it's because that's the, the different plants re re refer to different people, right? Oh. Are these just different colored or are they, they like, need, need more water? No, they're just different colors, okay. Aubrey, there you go. I really do do being responsible, best friend. Do 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 keeping their plants all good. Basil's plants are never better. Look at Cal's cacti. That's <laughs> now I'm starting to think that they they gave a uh, um Cal the cactus just so that uh, they they couldn't they wouldn't have to give him any more health for being because uh, he's not because he's supposed to be the the speedy one. I should be do actually wasn't this my flower before? This this one that was all white and bulbous just like Omori. Oh okay, maybe it was Basil's one that also gave me uh, a heart. I'm not sure. Hi Mari. Just want to check out Basil's house and see if anything's different here. We haven't been in a while. Oh man, the trees are all... Damn. Maybe we've got to bring that, that magic watering can back here. Oh, this hole's getting bigger. The floor is sinking. It, it, the floor is what? Wow, it's very nighttimey out there for how not nighttimey it is. Well, that's a shame. This whole thing is going to be rotted by the end. There aren't enough watering cans in the world to fix that. Let's just march on these. We're down like three stats over here and there. I'm glad we finally found uh, flowers that needed watering. I was getting worried for, for a bit that that was just never going to happen and that I was being an idiot. I might still be being an idiot about something, some part of this, but at least I am comforted in the knowledge that plants were watered by me, and we got some max health for it. How cool is that? Hmm, 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 so where to go? I, I, I suppose I still want to go to that train station and see what we can pick up there, which is somewhere around here. Sorry, I'm going to hurt my throat. <laughs> but I also want to go to the pinwheel forest because we never actually went up to the top of that, even though I'm pretty sure we can. I am sorry, I did not mean to go here. Bye. Oh, actually, maybe 72 wasn't actually that much when we got the from the was. You know, I guess I wasn't really considering how the scale of how much we probably need right now. And where the balls with that train station? Somewhere around the side of the world, I thought. There were quests and stuff to pick up there that I meant to. Bye. And also a lot of people to talk to. Here we are. Oh, Oh, right. Oh, are there like less people than there were before? Oh man, I probably missed a bunch of optional dialogue then. We'll get up soon. Just give me a bit. H-O-W. 
A R E Y O U T H I S F I N I E B E E V E N I N G Beavening. Okay, got it. I S N apostrophe T T H E W S weather. Okay, good. J U S T B E E beautiful. E E E E E E E E E E A U T I F U L. That was not worth the effort. Mountain! Ah, uh, hero, it has been too long. I have not seen you since you single-handedly put out the great wildfire. I am honored to be in your presence once again. Please accept this meager offering. Mountain hoping this person dropped a four-leaf clover in your hands. Go forth, hero. Be the protector you were always meant to be. What is this with stuff with hero just randomly having saved things in the past? I'm assuming it's just the whoever character, whatever character is, is the upfront. <laughs> but it was hero last time as well. I'm not help more than anything else. Bunnies. That's right, bunnies. I just hate them so much. If I had just one mission in the world, I would destroy all the world's bunnies. You look like you defeated a few bunnies. Yeah, that's right. I can tell how many bunnies you defeated by just by looking at you. That's how much I hate bunnies. Are you going somewhere with this? Say, tell you what, let's make a deal. If you defeat at least five bunnies, come back and report to me. I'll give you something nice. Now go on and destroy those bunnies. Well, I'm not destroying them, per se. Now, fellow bunny hater, by looking into your eyes, I see that you have killed 66 bunnies. Oh, I killed them. Splendid! I see you've destroyed more bunnies. That's 66 bunnies obliterated. Thank you so much, fellow bunny hater. You got a cotton ball. I don't feel good about this one. Now go and destroy more bunnies. I got bunny ears. Wait a minute, what is all this stuff? Well, I'm getting stuff every time. Rabbit foot. Oh, I should probably stop involving myself in this, shouldn't I? No, okay, that's the end of it. Cool. Well, that feels bad. Cotton ball, uh, def one plus one defense plus speed three. Uh, rabbit foot plus speed 15, luck plus 10. A little yucky, but keeps you lucky. Fluffy ball of cotton. Where's the bunny ears? Helps you hear better. Ooh, interesting. Maybe we give, um, him one of the bunny things. I guess I give him the rabbit, but it's plus speed of 15, which is great for him. And then a bit of luck, which is better than the, uh, clover he already had. <laughs> three leaf, <laughs> four leaf, and five leaf. Defense one, heart plus 10. Uh, bunny ears might be better than that at this rate. Defensive plus three. What's, what's Aubrey got? TV remote. Uh, defense plus two, heart plus five. I think I'm gonna give you the blanket because you want probably more health. Because your defense is already gonna be a little subpar, given you're a barbarian and all. So let's give you the... Where the hell does it go? The blanket, I guess. That'll do. Alright, well that feels awful, but uh, hey, we got stats from it, so... No regrets. Gibbs the stationary musician. <laughs> Hi, kids. I'm Gibbs, the stationary musician. I used to be a traveling musician, but I left that life a long time ago. Would you be able to spare five clams? They would be a great help since I'm completely st stationary. I'll show you something good if you do. Mm -hmm, okay. It's just, that's not so many. Thank you for your donation. Now, in return, let me play the song of my people. I'm listening. Hey, this is the song that was in the real world. He said we're not allowed to walk away this time. This is the same song. Cool. So I see, uh, I see parallels happening here. <laughs> Do I have to give you money in the real world and the dream world? You gotta be joking. Surely you have enough to leave by now. Five clams. <laughs> Yay! And what people is that that that's the song of, may I ask? Okay, this is still going on. I'm not allowed to move, though. Oh, unless there's another verse. My bad. Weird that I was able to walk away from the real light, the the real world one, but not this one. Ah, there we go. You thought the sing the song was pretty good. <laughs> I sure did. I will not be doing that again. But thank you very much for the offer. It was it would it would be my pleasure to do it again if I wasn't so dang busy. Hello, sir or madam. It looks like we have run out of train passes, but we still have some lemonade left. Did you want to buy lemonade? Let's see. Ooh, kind of. That's a lot of juice. I'll be alright for a bit, I think. Ooh, there's actually a, a bit b a behind this, too. <gasps> Melons! I hopefully no one wants these because they're mine. A sparkler, you say? That's probably toys, right? Inflicts happy on a friend or foe. Little fires. Right, we already had one of those. You got plum juice! Great. Hello? Stop right there! You can't pass without it. Whoa. That's a train pass! You must be the last passengers! We've been waiting for you for a very long time. Well, 
That's not clear for me. Welcome aboard, patrons. Oh, I didn't mean to. No, sorry. I have other stuff to do, like going to the Pinwheel Forest. But I'll, I'll, I'll be going there in a minute. Don't you worry. Ooh. Also, can I just? Now that I have, I don't think I, I was able. I went here after getting uh, the ability to tag out my other people. Ow. This is that place where there was a little tire swing, right? And there's this thing. Oh, maybe this is not the same place as the tire swing. But there's this. Uh, okay. Can any of us do a thing with this? Maybe Aubrey can hit, smash it open or something. Uh. Does not appear so. No dice. I'm gonna play as Cal for a bit because he's really grown on me in the in the real world. Uh, no, there's no way for me out of this for me. The only way. Th oh, am I? I lied. <laughs> Let's get ourselves into that pinwheel forest because we we didn't really go there in the main uh, our, our main line of quest initially, even though now we are able to go to places with uh, great heights. Better to go there now before we do any of this stuff with the train or anything else. I think. Did we get we got the train station from uh, Captain Space Boy, right? Yeah. Grants unlimited train rides, holy balls. Oh, these footsteps again. What am I to do about that? <laughs> Should I avoid them? Because last time it led us to a, uh, the, the real world again. So how how will I know if, if uh, I don't know what to do next time I see one of those. I guess it depends how far I am along in whatever it is we choose to, uh, whatever, we're, how, whatever we're doing here in the dream world. There's clearly a great deal to be achieved from going into the train station and other uh, parts of this world, and I think we should check out the, the spider's place as well. But I also want to have a look around what all this is about. Oh! I can... Oh, that was... was good, good thing I was Kel for that. <laughs> good. You got spaghetti! So, just so everyone is clear, I just climbed up a lattice work onto, a, like, a, an ancient pillar, hurled a rock at a pinwheel, and a watermelon fell out, which I broke open to get spaghetti. I just want everyone to understand that was what transpired over the last, like, 30 seconds or so. Great. Oh, dear. There's a key here. Probably if it's anyone that's worthwhile, they wouldn't leave it out in the open, would they? Between giant pinwheels. I think I'm gonna leave that one there. I want more vowels first. And maybe an M or an N. We should probably be able to come back here soon if we... Or another time if we decide that probably this is something we want. Oh, right, and I'm in the dream world, so I can cut roots if I'm Omori. And I would like to do so, because I want to see what's with that spinny hat over there. Hello? Oh, now it is me. I, the hat and I are one. Fear my might. Am I able to talk to this somehow? Propeller ghost looks around aimlessly as if it is lost. What's with all these ghosts, do you think? Maybe can Hero talk to them? Nope. Seems like it'll be pertinent somehow later, doesn't it? Oh, Mari! Not Omori, but oh, Mari. How do you do up here? Oh, wow. This place is, is this the end of this place? I guess maybe it's pretty small. Oh, hey, Mari. Fancy seeing you all the way up here. The wind here is stronger than it is on the ground. I wonder why that is. It seems like the perfect weather to fly a kite. Huh. Yo, Cal, what's up? You look like you've grown just a bit taller. Maybe one day you'll even be taller than Hero. <laughs> so, do you need a baby? Sure. Front row tickets. It seems that you've all stumbled upon show tickets to a promising new theatric. If you have time, maybe you should all stop by and watch. Yeah. Do you have any thoughts about this bunny stuff? I can't say I'm thrilled, but congratulations, you're a bunny killer now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, well, I guess we'll start, begin the next episode with uh, looking around here and just making sure we don't miss anything. I guess this place isn't as uh, expansive as Otherworld or anything like that. Although it's still only out, uh, outlined in, in black and white, so maybe there's more to explore here that we haven't really gotten yet, through yet. And then we'll head over to that train station, see where it can take us, and then failing all uh, that, or maybe not failing it, but we'll just, after seeing all that, we can see about going to where the spiders are at the very beginning, at the stump, where you can go west to find the spiders, and then he'll have to brave his fear, and then he'll be able to go through there to get to, I'm assuming that will take us underground to the two worlds that are underground. But of course, that'll all have to wait, won't it? It is sort of worrisome about Basil in the real world, though. He was really, really panicked when he heard that uh, Sunny was gonna leave. It was like he said, and he said, don't leave me again. So it's almost like when they lost Mori uh, initially, that like, because that made Sunny uh, even more sort of timid and reclusive than normal, I, I guess Basil wouldn't have been able to see him as much and he cares a great deal about him. So that would have been pretty hard. I assume that's what he means when, when he says, don't leave me again. I guess, so is, is there is there such a thing as, as relying too much on, on someone else to, for your, like, serotonin levels, you know what I mean? Because on the one hand, I don't want to be like, basically you're too reliant on, on, like, liking Sunny to, to, to help you, because that's obviously a good thing and shouldn't be, you should never tell someone that having friends or liking people is wrong. That's ridiculous. But I worry for him, given the, you know, Sunny and co aren't gonna be around forever. I worry that maybe he's a little too attached to them. Or something, but I don't want to. I wouldn't want to say that ever. Well, anyways, we're back in the dream world. Uh, we've got more stuff to explore around here, more quests to, to final finish out, more worlds to explore, which we'll all be doing next time on Amori. Next video is gonna be more some a uh, bit more Fire Emblem Three Houses. I don't know what we're doing just yet because I haven't actually recorded that far. 
but we'll be doing something, probably. So with that, I thank you very, very much for coming around, and hopefully I will see you around in this game or another or something even entirely different. Admiral is going to be out of here now. Thank you very much for coming around. Hopefully I will see you around. I was going to be out of here, guys, and everything five more times. Please! Resolve.